Hi, I'm Daniel and this is Dad's Wallet where I publish my personal thoughts for my kids' future and anyone that gets value from it now. Uh, here are my two cents on what to do during a recession. These are four or five tips that you can take with you and hopefully help you during what can be a more stressful time. Uh, recessions are marked by a six month decline in the economy um, over the course of two quarters. Each quarter is three months, a six month decline. Uh, what does a recession mean for everyday life for you? Um, usually it's marked by high unemployment rate, uh, stuck wages, fall in real estate prices, and a decline in stocks and other investments. So how do people and businesses usually react? Um, businesses are cutting expenses in an effort to increase or maintain profits. Uh, hiring slows down, raises and bonuses shrink. Uh, individuals concerned about their jobs and investments are spending less on everything from food to new homes and cars, uh, discretionary items like travel, gifts, uh, home furnishings, electronics, and clothing. All that spending tends to go down during a recession. Uh, governments have less tax revenue to invest in their communities, and stock markets, uh, government debt, and house prices suffer from economic pressure. That sounds pretty bad, right? But before you go and move with your friends and family, into a bunker in the woods, consider the bigger picture. Economic recessions have historically always been followed by uh, an expansion that more than compensates for the decline in the economy. Just took a look at the uh, chart linked in the show notes. Um, here it outlines economic recessions since 1950, followed by their subsequent expansions. So as you see, the expansions far outweigh the sections declining below zero, and then the growth rate uh, is much higher following each decline. Harry Truman said, a recession is when your neighbor loses their job, and a depression is when you lose yours. So what about the stock market and people's retirement funds? Well, economic expansions far outweigh the impact of the average recession. Even in the worst times, investors who consistently invest in diversified portfolios end up outperforming those who try to time the market. So what should you do today? Number one, create a financial plan. A clear budget and financial goals provide momentum and enhance your progress forward to whatever long-term goals you have. It's always important to keep track of your spending and keep track of your savings, but especially during a recession. Uh, reduce your expenses and increase those savings. With uh, a higher risk of job loss, it's important to keep your emergency fund fully funded. I recommend at least three to six months of expenses, possibly more depending on your job. And invest in yourself. Side gigs and additional streams of income can help add security, especially during uncertain times. A uh, recession is a great time to develop diversification in your income. As, uh, like diversity, lots of different types of income coming into your budget. You can only reduce your expenses to zero, but you can increase your income indefinitely. Here are some ideas to consider. These are all different uh, career choices, but things that you can uh, get a certificate for online, get some training, and begin doing at your leisure. Uh, bookkeeping, uh, proofreading, childcare, medical coder, uh, research assistant, programming, virtual assistant work, uh, dog walk walking, house watching, 
These are, uh, you can wash cars uh, in your neighborhood. These are all different things that could be done uh, with whatever time you do have available, and many can be done remotely from home. Number four, avoid major purchases or delay them if possible. A uh, recession is a particularly difficult time to move homes, to buy new cars, uh, make other large purchases that have an outsized impact on your cash flow. Number four, avoid or delay major purchases. A uh, recession is a particularly difficult time to move homes, to buy a new car, or make other large purchases. Accumulating cash and assets during a recession can equip you to take advantage of an expanding market. Think more war chest, and conversely, Going to the dealership to buy a new car with your emergency fund and depleting your cash will put you at an unnecessary risk if you were to lose your job or your income goes down. Bottom line, think long term. When you do what you do with your investments in a recession has long term consequences. The most important thing to keep in mind is to not only make major changes based on emotion. Uh, recessions are stressful and investing from a place of fear and stress can cause you to increase your risk unnecessarily. It becomes a stress spiral. You can, uh, you can, due to stress, increase your risk level and that increased risk level it just furthers your stress. And that's often scary to think about and a lot of people will disconnect now but if you plan for the long term and uh, it, this is then a good time to stop checking your balances your investment portfolio your bank account um, if you have a long-term plan and you have that financial security then it go outside um, be with friends enjoy the really real things in life um, hopefully find things that uh, aren't going to bust your budget um, but, but bring you uh, joy and peace of mind. Um, if you don't have a long-term plan uh, that adds security to your future, then talk to a coach or an advisor and get the education to reduce your risk. Uh, that confidence and that peace of mind will, uh, will improve your overall well-being and will probably give you fuel for uh, being even more successful when the economy expands after uh, a brief recession.